Hello and welcome back to Art Masters with me, Mrs. Portia. Today we're going to be doing some Parisian posters just like Henri Toulouse Lautrec. We are going to use some crayon to make some excellent line work and some washes in co of color to make our posters of our friends from Paris just like Lautrec would do posters of his friends in Paris. So let's go ahead and get started on our Parisian posters. So the first thing we're gonna use in creating our drawing today is our manila paper, just like Lautrec used this kind of almond colored paper and our black crayon. We're gonna use a crayon instead of a brush so we have a little bit more control when we're making our drawing. So we're gonna be doing a directed draw, drawing a face. A lady, to be a gentleman. To start either a lady or a gentleman, we're all gonna do the same first steps. So everyone's going to watch first and then you're gonna do it. So we're gonna hold our crayon and I'm gonna have you do a couple of practice strokes. We're treating this like a brush today. So everyone should have some newsprint. So Lautrec liked to use some thin lines and some thick lines and maybe even some wavy lines. So when I push hard, ooh, I'm gonna get a nice dark and thick line. If I just push lightly, I'm going to get a thinner line that's very light. We can make a dark and wavy line and I can lift and push my crayon and I'm gonna get different um, thicknesses of my line. I could do a straight line. I could do a thin line. So you could go ahead and practice some of these crayon strokes and then uh, we'll get started on our directed draw. Great, so hopefully you guys just did a couple of little crayon strokes, getting used to your crayon. We're not just scribbling, we're just working on quality of line. So now let's start our directed draw by watching first. So the first step we're going to do is, this is the middle of my paper. I'm just gonna go just above the middle of my paper and I'm going to draw, watch first, a straight line And I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm just drawing a line, kind of close to the middle of my paper, but a little bit higher and not touching the edges. So I made a nice dark line. So go ahead and take your crayon and you're gonna find the middle and then just go up a little bit and draw a straight line. Lovely, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw basically the shape for this face. Now I want my face to take almost my whole poster. So I'm gonna make sure that my U shape is very big, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space on the bottom. So let me show you. I'm gonna draw a big U shape or almost like a happy face. And the nice thing is about faces is they're all different shapes and sizes. So if yours looks a little bit different than mine, that's totally fine. So watch what I do. I'm gonna start at this line close to the edge and I'm gonna go down, 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 down. Not all the way to the bottom. Maybe I'll put like three or four fingers here. And then I'm gonna go back up to the top. So I'm leaving a little bit of space on my line and I'm making kind of a big U shape. So go ahead and everyone take your crayon and you're gonna make a big U shape. Nice big face. Great job. So let's everyone just take a second and we'll make sure that our lines are connecting, right? So we have the line on the top and the big U shape. So now you might wanna decide if you wanna do a man or a woman. If you're not sure, you could just decide what type of hat you would like them to wear. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this kind of frilly puffy hat, which I'm gonna make a woman, but you can make it whatever you would like. So let's watch how I do uh, this hat. I'm gonna go to the top here and I'm gonna kind of do like a wavy line. So I might push hard. Okay, now if you don't think you like that hat, 
let me show you another hat. How to do kind of this rounded hat, or maybe you wanna do like a square top hat. So to do the rounded hat, which I'm gonna make my gentleman, I'm gonna go about to where the face is, and I'm gonna make another kind of half circle like this, touching on the edges. So it's starting to kind of look like a hat. So you go ahead and decide which kind of hat you would like. And if you have your own idea, that's totally fine. We're just gonna use our crayon to add a little shape to the top. Okay, now we're gonna add a little bit of detail. This lady, I'm gonna give her kind of a fluffy, maybe ruffly dress. So I'm gonna add um, right here. I'm not gonna really give her a neck. Okay, if you wanna do your gentleman or your man, uh, I'm gonna give him a neck. And what my neck shape is gonna be is just like this. I'm gonna do a line, a line. I'm not going all the way to the bottom. And then I'm gonna connect it with a little curved line. So let's kind of add our neck area to our person. Good, now let's decide on some hair. So this guy has kind of like some slicked back hair that's like a triangle shape. It's a little bit wavy hair and she's got kind of puffy hair just like her hat. So I'm gonna show you kind of these wavy shapes. So for my lady, I'm going to add kind of these wavy lines there and then she's gonna have some coming out of her hat as well. So I'm doing three shapes for her. For my gentleman here, I'm going to add two shapes. I'm going to add kind of um, a line from his head to his hat, almost making a triangle. And then I'm gonna come here to his hat and I'm gonna drag my crayon all the way to his face. So I'm gonna go from here, drag my crayon. I might have to hold my paper and connect. So go ahead and add um, your idea for hair. Okay, great, now let's add a little bit more detail. Let's kind of connect their body to the edge of the paper. So what I mean by that is if I'm doing this lady here, I'm gonna go to where her collar is and I'm gonna drag my crayon to the edge of the paper. So then she's not just a floating head. And I'm gonna do that to the other side. Drag my crayon to the other side of the paper. For this sir over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to this edge of his neck and I'm gonna drag it to the edge of the paper. And I'm gonna to go to this edge of his neck and drag it to the end of paper. So let's give our friends some kind of shoulders or body and kind of grounding them more to our paper. Excellent, I think it's time to give our friends um, a little bit more of a face. So I'm gonna keep mine very simple and I'm going to add two eyes and my eyes are gonna be closed eyes. And what I mean by that is right here. I'm gonna kind of put my crayon in the middle of my face. So now I know about where to put the eyeballs. And I'm gonna make kind of an upside down happy face like this. And that looks like kind of closed eyes if you were smiling. And now watch how I'm gonna do my nose. Again, a nose, I'm gonna do two different kinds, but everyone has different noses. So noses, just like your nose, goes right in between your eyes. So her nose, I'm going to go down and make a triangle. I'm gonna do his eyes and nose. His eyes, I'm gonna do the same, whoop, whoop, little upside down shape but I'm also gonna add a circle underneath so it looks like an eyeball. And for his nose, he's just gonna get a line for a nose. So go ahead and add two eyes and a nose. So I'm going to add a mouth and our mouth goes right underneath our nose, just like us. And we could just do a simple smiley face, which would just be right under the nose, just like that. Or perhaps we want a little bit of a fuller mouth. And I'm gonna make this kind of like an M right under her nose. 
M shape or two little humps. And then I'm gonna put right underneath it, I'm gonna connect that and maybe I want a line in between. Let's go ahead and add um, some ears because that's a pretty simple shape as well. And ears are usually balanced. They're kind of uh, connected right by your eye. So I'm gonna go right by my eye and I'm gonna do another half circle. And maybe her, maybe she doesn't have ears because they're hidden underneath her hair. So go ahead and add your mouth. And if you want to give your friend ears, you can, may do so now. Okay, the last bit I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail with my crayon before I get to paint. So for my friend here, and this is all optional, I'm gonna add um, some leaves in her hat. Now that's just a simple shape, kind of connecting almost like a rounded triangle. Maybe I wanna add an extra line. Uh, my friend over here, I think I'm gonna add a flower in his hat. So just watch and then you'll decide. So I'm gonna draw, draw a little line. I'm gonna attach a little circle to that line. Then I'm gonna add some wavy petals to make a flower. And I'm gonna add another line here. It just kind of gives his hat a little more structure. Now this person gave their friend some glasses, which you could do and they added a little tie to his shirt if you want. So let's add just a little bit of detail to our hat or maybe our clothes, little bit, basic shapes, okay? All right, now we are going to start our paint. So our crayon is acting as our painted line and we want to use this as a watercolor resist. You may. So now we'll have your helper hand out the plates, helper will put a dab of black paint, yellow paint, and red paint. And then we just need our little cup with just a little bit of water and a paper towel. So now we're gonna take our water brush. So watch how I do this. So with a brush, we're not gonna hold it like a pencil. We're gonna kind of hold it um, more with our finger, our pointer finger and our thumb. Um, you should have two brushes, so if this brush is a little bit easier for you to do the wash over the face, and then this one could be more of your detailed brush. So I'm gonna take my big brush, I'm gonna paint a little bit of water on my face. And I'm gonna go so I got a little bit of water, and I'm gonna go right into my red paint, although you could pick yellow if you want, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water, mixing it in a circle here, and now I'm gonna go right over my water to make a wash. This face, I'm just gonna add the wash straight on so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna dip a little bit in yellow and I'm mixing right here. I'm not putting the paint directly on, I'm mixing it with water first. So let's have everybody uh, go ahead and you can take your bigger brush to start with and we're going to do a wash on the face. Great, now we're going to add, um, we're going to paint some other areas. So you can pick whatever color you want. I'm just showing you guys examples. So I'm going to go ahead and paint um, with my big brush still against these bigger areas and then I'll use my sm smaller brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going. And this one, I added a little bit more paint so you could see the color is a little bit brighter. I'm using my newsprint so I don't paint all over my desk. And for him, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of water down. Uh, this time I might use a little bit of black. Dip it in the water, make a thin wash. See how thin that is? And then I'm gonna put it right over. Good, so let's go ahead and fill in our next big spot. Paint with water and then put a nice little um, painted wash by just a little dab of color with a little bit of water. 
All right, so let's continue on. So for his hat, I'm not gonna put the water wash on. I'm actually going to just use the watered down um, paint, which is just gonna make it a little bit brighter. And then again, if you need to clean your brush a little bit, just put it in your little water jar. Scrape it against the sides, dab it on your paper towel, and then you're gonna keep going. We don't even have to clean up our water. So now we can continue to use our little brush, adding more of the detailed spots, keeping it a point. And if you don't like this little brush, you can continue using your big brush. And we're gonna fill in some more of these spots, trying to stay within our crayon lines and always pulling the brush and we could re-dip mid-stroke. And we could go right back in there. But you see I'm not scribbling, I'm pulling my brush calmly. So let's fill in some more spots. We could use our big or our little brush. A more advanced option for our second graders if you would like you can maybe add a mustache or maybe a little blush on the cheeks or maybe a little bit more detail on the clothes using your brush you may do so so once we're pretty much finished with our painting we are going to get our red paper and write our name on the back with pencil or crayon. And we're gonna glue a Toulouse-Lautrec about our artist. We're going to glue our poster onto our red paper. If you're and then we are all done with our Henri Toulouse-Lautrec poster. Great job everyone today with your posters by Lautrec. I hope that you're very happy with your faces and how they came out. And if you have time or when they're hung up, you guys can evaluate each other's work by pointing out positive things about maybe the composition or the washes of color or the way they did their crayon lines. So I hope you enjoy doing your Parisian poster by Henri Toulouse-Lautrec and we'll see you next time on Art Masters.